In this second video, uh, we will have a look at paragraph structure and the use of case studies. So just to remind you, this student previously has created an excellent introduction and they set up the essay really well. So in this presentation, we'll start looking at case studies. Um, we'll look at paragraph structure, how case studies can be used, but also a specific paragraph uh, structure, which is called the spiral argument and we will suggest that as a way of developing your critical thinking and showing an understanding of complexity. So let's have a look at what this student said in the second paragraph. They said South Korea experienced miracle economic growth starting in the 1990s due to the demographic dividend creating a low dependency ratio. They then gone on to say this assumption is oversimplified as there are other factors that interrelate to enable the development of South Korea's economy and its sustainable development goals. So that's good as well. They brought in the economy and they talked about it's also important um, for them to achieve those sustainable development goals. The demographic dividend does not necessarily guarantee the rapid, rapid ep economic development of a country such as South Korea. It is a potential. So you can see here that these student is setting up the question to saying look that the demographic dividend is an in is a potential and it needs an enabling environment around it so already the student is starting to establish the complexity and the interrelationships and they're also challenging that simplest simplistic assumption so let's dig down a little bit further into what this student said. So at this stage, we'll just remind ourselves what the essay question was. And that's examine the importance of the demographic dividend. And this student is suggesting that demographic dividend is important to ensure economic development and to enable that country to achieve the sustainable development goals. So the student goes on to say that South Korea experienced um, miracle economic growth starting in the 1990s due to the demographic dividend creating a low dependency ratio. So the student opened up the paragraph which is essentially what a knowledge statement. Now a knowledge statement is something that you can say that you are reasonably confident would be the case. However at this stage you're not actually stating that as a fact you are stating that as a knowledge statement, something that is potentially true, and you have a reasonable level of confidence that it is true. They then gone on to talk about the assumption being oversimplified, as there are other factors that interrelate to enable that development of South Korea's economy and its sustainable development goals. So the students have set up their, this part of the essay in what, we, what I'd like to call a spiral argument. So a circular argument is where you just try to prove that your statement is correct. And then basically you're falling into something that we call the black and white fallacy. So with a spiral argument, you are kind of agreeing to disagree. You're taking the knowledge statement and say, yes, this knowledge is true to some extent. This knowledge is true, but there are other factors that will affect that statement. So think of it as rather a spiral. And by the time you get to the middle of the spiral, or in this case, in our little image there, but by, by the time you get to the middle, there's no further point in carrying on that conversation because you have agreed to disagree. You've looked at those interrelationships and you've looked at those assumptions. If it's a circular argument, you just go round and round and round in the same circle and actually don't move on your critical thinking or understanding. So with these essays, there are different ways to write an essay, but for essays like this, you might want to consider the spiral argument structure. So here the student has tried to develop that further. So they said, in addition to a demographic dividend, South Korea benefited from good governance, peace, strong institutions and partnerships in achieving its economic growth. It said, even though the demographic dividend is important, SDG 16 and 17 of the Sustainable Development Goals were 
important along with all those other things. So if we go back to a previous slide, we're saying that it is important as long as you have that enabling environment. And those enabling environments um, are interrelated with each other, so it's complex. And notice how we're using words like in interrelationship and complexity. Developing further that spiral argument, the students has gone on to say um, it is unlikely that South Korea would have achieved its economic growth with SDG 16 and 17. Without good governance, the demographic dividend would have had little impact on the economic growth of the country and would have been a lost opportunity and unimportant. So there, the student was very careful not to fall into the black and white fallacy. So in this case, the black and white fallacy said, would be that, yes, the demographic dividend is important, or no, it's not important. In fact, it's a mixture of the two. So by avoiding the black and white fallacy and using a spiral argument structure, you're helping to develop your critical thinking skills. You're also showing the examiner that you understand the relationships and complexities in the question and the issue. So here we can see that the students have gone on to clarify that South Korea enjoyed strong economic growth from 1987 when the demographic dividend was high. South Korea is expi currently experiencing an economic struggle as they leave the demographic dividend because there is an increasing dependency ratio. The demographic dividend is a once only chance for economic development and therefore is very important. So again, the student is reinforcing that spiral argument structure, saying that Korea is towards the South Korea is towards the end of its demographic dividend and is now starting to experience a downturn in their economy and recession. So now the student hasn't proved or disproved the statement. They thought about it in a critical way. Now in itself, would that be enough? Would what the student said, would he be able to apply that to other countries? So then we're going, the student is going to start to reinforce their argument and think about their argument even further. So they said, however, it is worth considering that if these assumptions would apply to another country that is just entering its demographic transition. Is, so the student is posing now the question to themselves, is there the same cause and effect relationship and change over time? So they're going to go on to look at a country that is just moving into its potential demographic transition. And I believe the country that they're going to look at is Ethiopia. So by doing that, having a case study in the past and a case study in the future, they're showing that they understand that there, is a, there might be differences not only in space, but over time.